IV versus oral antibiotic therapy. Um, so IV antibiotics aren't necessarily better than oral antibiotics, um, but there are specific conditions that an IV antibiotic would be better in. So obviously, if the patient cannot tolerate an oral medicine, they're nil by mouth, can't have an oral medicine, IV antibiotics is the way to go. Um, IV antibiotics sometimes have better penetration into specific tissues, such as bone, joints, valves, and what that's meant to say afterwards is abscess. Um, so specific collections, things that are difficult to penetrate into, um, IV antibiotics do tend to have a wee bit better uh, of a chance of getting deep into tissue. Vancomycin is a very specific antibiotic that is not absorbed through the stomach at all and is given IV apart from one situation. Can anybody think of the one situation where you want to give vancomycin orally? Bearing in mind, you don't want most antibiotics to work on the gut. Um, so the classic situation to give oral vancomycin and the only situation I know to give uh, oral vancomycin is C. difficile, well done, thank you, Mo. There you are, there's loads of them coming in at the one time, Clostridium, there you are. So yeah, it's infection, Clostridium difficile infection, vancomycin is, um, classically the answer to that, or mitronidazole, but it needs to be given oral. Every other time it's IV. Um, IV antibiotics are generally indicated in people with sepsis or severe systemic upset and gross edema um, because they work a wee bit faster. And if you're very, very unwell, your GI tract is probably not working 100% and your absorption will be affected, especially people who have gross edema. Um, so you should probably give an IV therapy. And also, a lot of the time, people have a trial of oral tablets and it's just not worked out. Uh, the infection's just gotten worse. For example, the most common the co most common thing that gets treated like this is cellulitis. People get sent away with a course of oral flucloxacillin. It doesn't work for them. They come into hospital and they get IV flucloxacillin. It's not necessarily that the um, antibiotic wasn't sensitive. It's just that the dose doesn't get as absorbed as well. It's not high enough dose and it's just not getting on top of the skin. So IV therapy for two or three days, and then they get switched back to oral and sent home. So those are the general indications. Always remember, oral antibiotics aren't necessarily worse, but there are specific indications for them. Um, and IVOS is a term that's bandied about quite a lot, IV to oral switch therapy. Um, whenever you have a patient on IV antibiotics, you should all be thinking, when can I get them off the IV therapy? And Generally, it's when the patient's improving, they've had 24 to 48 hours of IV antibiotics already. They don't have a very specific indication for IV antibiotics, such as bone, joint, valve, um, deep tissue infection, um, and um, they are afebrile, no longer septic. So you can kind of get away with taking them off IV antibiotics.